How does the controversy around field turf relate to gender inequality? The answer in today's World Cup Daily. The 2019 Women's World Cup will be played entirely on grass. And while that sentence may sound overly simplistic, it's actually a pretty big deal. The 2015 Women's Tournament was held in Canada, but as the games move to France, players are leaving complaints about the playing surface in the past. In Canada, the entirety of the tournament was played on artificial turf despite a number of players raising complaints. Playing on turf affects everything, you know, it affects the way the ball rolls, it affects the way the ball bounces and deal with bloody knees, bloody uh, hip bones. It's, it's, it's kind of a nightmare. Later that year, just five months after winning the tournament, the U.S. women's soccer team took a stand against the surface, refusing to play a friendly against Trinidad and Tobago because of the field turf. France's 2019 World Cup bid and Korea's 2023 joint World Cup bid featured entirely grass surfaces. So as you watch Canada kick off their 2019 tournament on a natural grass surface, remember that four years ago, World Cup participants weren't so lucky. Here's what else you need to know. Before Canada takes on Cameroon, Argentina will kick off their tournament against 2015 finalist Japan. The Argentines, making their first World Cup appearance since 2007, feature just nine professional players and were drawn into one of the tourney's toughest groups. Japan is favored, however, and the 2011 champs look to make another deep run. And be sure to check out SI.com and follow us on social for World Cup coverage all tournament long.